Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Balan Wonderworld. Uh, this is a 3D platformer that uh, Square Enix just put out. I, I believe just put out, That's I'm hearing about it just now, so I think it's just been released. Um, and I didn't really know a lot about it. Uh, I know that this demo had pretty mixed reception. Some people really loved it, some people like really, really hated it, so... Um, I guess I'll find out what kind of person I am. <laughs> um, cool. Let's dive in. As you can see, it's only the demo, so... The actual game, it's like a AAA title, so it's pretty expensive, but... You know, if I like it, then maybe I'll get it. And if I don't, then I won't. Pretty standard, standard stuff. <laughs> uh, language settings... ABXY change language? Oh, it's just like, press any of the face buttons to pick the language you have selected. Uh, I can see there's lots of languages here, so... Uh, yeah, English. Uh, title screen's kind of pretty. Let's look at the settings. Controls, HD rumble on. Okay, camera. Automatic, uh, vertical movement, horizontal movement, normal. I don't know which vert, what, what counts as reflected, so I don't know if I need to flip those around or not. I'll have to get into the game and see. Sometimes I want to mirror it because they say normal, but they really mean abnormal. <laughs> uh, different games have a different idea of what counts as normal, basically. Okay. So, as you can see, you have to pick one of the quote-unquote two genders here, which is not a great start. But it looks like there are actually specifically, like, named characters, so maybe it makes sense. But also you can choose their race, which, I mean, if they're particular people who have a name, it's kind of strange that you can also select their race, but yeah, I guess it's okay. Hmm. I like this one. I don't know, I mean, I'm very, very white, so I should maybe play as this one, but uh, I, li I like how this, uh, this hair looks, I think it's very cute, so. I don't know what's up with the gigantic hands, though, look at those hands. That, that is huge. Oh, uh, oh, she's speaking Japanese? Okay. What's going on? I'm in a uh, Resident Evil mansion? Full of little chibi people? Who I guess are whispering about me? Square Enix. Square Enix? I think it's Enix. Um, Balan Company presents. I, I guess they made, they're planning to make more games in this series. Uh, director Yuji Naka. I've heard that name before. I'm not sure what else they've worked on. Na Naoto Oshima. Uh, I don't know them. This opening is pretty adorable. I guess they have like eight versions of this recorded for the eight different possible like characters you can select since it's pre-rendered. Okay, so did both of these characters enter the house at the same time? Is that what we're getting here? This is pretty nice animation. It's got a very Pixar feel to it. I 
think we're about to get isekai'd. I'm not quite sure what the plot is. I think it would have made more sense to give us a little bit of gameplay before we get isekai'd instead of just cutscenes. But I suppose this works. Yeah, this has a very Disney Pixar feel to it. Also, I believe that guy with the hat there is Balan from the title. That's the impression I got. I had a look at the trailer just to get a bit of an idea, and yeah, that's what it looked like. Um, Isle of Tim's. Mm, it looks alright visually. It's not like fantastic, uh, but fidelity-wise. I mean, I don't suppose it matters how pretty it is, but I feel like I've seen stuff that looks like this on the PS2. <laughs> hmm. I can jump. Uh, I jump the same height no matter how long I press the button. I can't do like a short hop. Uh, a and B are both jump. Uh, y and X are jump as well. Uh, okay. That's weird. Um, uh, ZL and ZR are also jump. Do I have any other buttons? This thing's glowing. Can I interact with it somehow? Doesn't look like it. Um... I feel like I'm going kind of slow given how fast my animation looks. Like, it feels like I'm sort of running on something slippery, I guess. Oh, that's a number. It's zero. I assume it'll increase when I do something. I'm guessing that five in the corner is like lives or something. I hope it's not lives because like you, you don't you don't need lives in a 3D platformer. Uh, I've talked about this before. Uh, oh, I meant to go over here where it says one and has the corn. Yeah, um, I mean it's possible they used like lower res stuff for the demo, but it doesn't look super pretty. Uh, I guess I got a one? I, I don't know what this means yet. Is it like, like a, um, Mario 64 style thing where you pick which mission you want to do in level one? And I've just picked, like, the first star or whatever? Maybe? I don't know, that game had a lot more explanation than this one does. <laughs> I mean, it was the first, like, 3D platformer essentially, so it kind of makes sense that they had think more explanation of things. Um, got a white screen. Chapter 1. The man who rages against the storm. Okay, my controller's vibrating a lot, and this... these visuals are not great. Um... I'm not sure if I should blame the Switch for being, like, underpowered, or if they've just made a really bad port, or... Like, if it's actually not that bad, and I'm just overreacting. <laughs> but honestly, it, it, it looks bad. And I don't think, like, games need to be, like, high-res to look good. Like, I was talking about Outer Worlds, which also, like, has relatively low textures all over the place, and that game still looks nice. This, this one kinda doesn't. I'm not sure what they've done that's different. Okay, I can collect, uh... Little, little sparkly things, I guess. I don't know what they do. Also, there's like a dancing guy there who disappears when I go near him. I've got a key. Uh, oh, hello. Tornado Wolf. Uh, okay. Press B to perform a spin jump. Okay, so it replaces my regular jump with a spin jump by the looks of things. Um, doesn't go any higher, but I think it can break things. Like that, for example. I don't really like the way the camera's working. Um, it's not terrible, like it's not tank controls or anything, but it doesn't feel quite right. Also, if you tilt the stick up, you eventually go into first person mode, which is annoying. It should just be like clicking the stick for first person, in my opinion. That's what Odyssey does, and that game is perfect. 
I mean, no, it's, it's not perfect. I, I have criticized Odyssey in various ways before, but it is still, you know, my favorite platformer out of all the platformers. Second favorite is Celeste. So I guess that guy's dancing there to let me know that... What's going on with the key? I guess I got another key? I, I, I don't really know what that means, though. I'd kind of like a more direction about, like, what I'm trying to achieve here. Am I looking for, like, shines and stuff? Uh-oh. Okay, I don't think there are lives. It doesn't look like I lost any. So that's promising. Uh... I'll oh, use the key to open those. Okay, I get it. I think. <laughs> okay, then I can open this door. Oh, uh, do I want to collect that? Is that like a, a star? Or a moon or whatever? I don't know, a cork seed or a pagey or, or a jiggy or uh, something else that's collectible. <laughs> I'm guessing I can get like a spider form or something in order to get onto this wall. Uh, but right now I'm just a tornado wolf. I would like more than one type of jump. Like, I'm aware there are good platformers where you don't really have different heights of jump. Like, Mario, the Mario games aren't the only good 3D platformers. Uh, but, like, I can't do anything except just jump and it's always to the same height. Hmm. You got a statue, chapter one, act one, one out of eight. The more statues you gather, the more worlds you can visit. I promise to reappear when I see fit. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're like they're like stars, only uh, they don't have names, and you just sort of get them. They don't kick you out, so I guess they're more like jiggies, really, or moons. But moons have names, so probably closer to jiggies. What do we got here? Uh, hello. Oh, okay, so mirrors are little warp thingies. Cool. Bunnies? Not bunnies, those are like kangaroos or something. <sighs> mm, I'm still not really liking the way the game controls. Doesn't really feel right. Also, I can't jump far enough to do that. Like, I would like, you know, a, a long jump or something. Um. Like a, you know, you know crowd, a backflip jump, something like that. I mean, like, you know, single, double, triple jumps, like in um, Mario 64, aren't the only way to do this. You can have other other ways of jumps working, but... Uh, is that a bad guy? Is that the baddie? Hello. Oh, you made little friends. How much health do I have? Do I have a health meter? Can't see one, but I, I guess I did what I was supposed to do. So I like the ghost people hanging around, supposed to give you a hint about which costumes to use, something like that. Hmm, looks like the different colors of gem actually count as different collectibles, so I suppose that's significant in some way. I figured it was like Spyro, like the different colors were just worth different amounts, but it doesn't seem to be like that. Uh, hello. Yeah, I'm not sure having just one button is the best fit for a 3D platformer. Chapter 1, Act 1. Or for that matter, a 2D platformer. Like, I can't think of any that... Any really good 2D platformers that only use one button. Uh, is this how I get the bunny outfit? Yep. Jumping Jack. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a kangaroo, yeah, I've got a little pouch. 
Okay, so that gives me a flutter jump. You did well to find me, little one. Now I shall let you have a bit of fun. Harness my powers well enough, and I will give you some great stuff. Uh, I guess he's taking it like, to like a challenge room? Yeah, okay. Tap B when Balan's shadow lines up. Uh, okay. So it's a quick time event? It's not like a platforming challenge? Alright. Uh, I got a little bronze hat. Is that good? I, I don't really know. Alright. Well, I can flutter jump now. I can probably reach some more things. Uh, kind of wish they just made the jumping better instead of making you get an upgrade that makes the jumping kind of decent. It, it doesn't really feel good to control. Okay, there's something going on in there. Just try the D-pad, it doesn't do anything. Uh... I guess this is at the end of the level? Probably? Yeah, it's the, it's the level finish. Okay. I mean, I, I missed a bunch of stuff because I didn't know that was how you ended a level. I guess I'll go back in and do it again. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of understanding people's disappointment with this game. Uh, I'm going to give it a frame rate drop. Hang on, see if I can fix that. There we go. That was a recording frame rate drop, not a the game dropping in frame rate, just to be clear. Can I bring my costumes back here somehow in order to use them in the overworld? Pete some drops to the Tims in the field by pressing B. Oh, okay. Does that do anything? So these things are Tims. It's kind of like a chow garden, I guess, but does it achieve anything? Um, it's also using the same button as the rest of the game. Oh, I hit something there. Uh, I guess let's go back into the level and see if I can grab the stuff I missed. So there's some eggs here. Is it is it like a chow garden? Are those is that what's happening? Well, let's look at Act Two, I suppose. This game definitely isn't making as good an impression as, for example, New Super Lucky's Tale, uh, which had, you know, a, a lot of different things you could do to control Lucky. It wasn't just one jump button that sometimes gets upgraded with different stuff. Um... I don't know, I'm trying to think. Even the most basic platformers, like Jumper, for example, has a double jump. Um... And you just always have that, and it's based around like precision and jumping and stuff. 
It seems like they didn't really try too hard to make the base mechanics interesting. Hmm. What's this? Oh, okay. They also didn't really explain what anything does. I mean, I get I get to use the keys to open these things. Oh, hello, elastoplant. plant. So am I like an uproot or something? Yeah, it's it's like an uproot, only uh, uh weird <laughs> and much harder to avoid using. Whereas uproots, you basically don't need them. There's a couple of moons you need them for, but you can beat the game without them. It also looks like I can't climb up by doing this, which is annoying. Because that's pretty much what uproots do in Odyssey. Oh, I can do that. Hmm, I guess that's something. What's that? Yeah, you need the key. Okay, what is this? Oh, I'm, I'm a soccer player. Footballer, okay. For, uh, um, what? Do, do I want to hit the, the yellow things and, and not not the Balan guy? I... All right. Timing is hard. Um, so do I get to keep this costume or is it just like a side challenge thing? I guess it was just a side challenge thing. <sighs> hmm. Oh, thank you. I think this is a better, better like costume to use most of the time. Statue. Can I like see what things I've gotten? Yeah, balance statues. Oh, okay. So they are separate in the different acts. I wasn't quite sure about that. Why do all the buttons do the same thing? I don't. And there's like not even a button to turn the camera. Yeah, you have to use the stick, you can't just put it behind yourself by tapping R or whatever like you can in most platformers because that button is taken up for swapping costumes. Even though they could have used some of the face buttons for that. This design is just very weird. Lizard? Oh, I'm dragon. Dainty dragon. Oh, here we go. Dragon time. Press B to unleash a short burst of fire. Where I can charge up and release a lot of fire. Okay, I can't burn these these haystacks, so I have no idea what the point of this is. Can I burn anything? Uh, I can burn stone. That, that makes sense. This is a strange game. <laughs> Oh, you have to wait for the animation before you can switch again. That's annoying. Also, I haven't figured out which direction L and R go yet. Okay. Hmm. Wait, what's that? Is that something different? Oh no, that's, that's the plant. The plant is there now. In case you want to switch back, because the plant isn't in my selection anymore. It got pushed out. 
I could have easily just given you multiple buttons for doing these different moves instead of, like, having you switch costumes. Hmm. I don't like not liking games, and I think I've mentioned this before. I, I prefer to like games, but... I'm having trouble liking this one. Uh, is that like a checkpoint? Um, what? Alright. Oh, another one of those things. Camera. Might be some stuff on the other side, so I'm just gonna ride this over. <sighs> yeah, there's an egg. Still not really sure what those are for. It might be like a chow thing, but it's unclear. Like, I was interacting with them in the, other, in the overworld and it didn't seem to do anything, so... Uh, we want dragon. I have no idea why they freeze you in place doing nothing for so long when you switch costumes. Uh, I need to be able to attack, so I guess I want dragon again? Wow, my range is real bad. Just, just real bad. It's not, it's not good. It's bad range. I assume I don't want to touch that, that purple stuff. It looks pretty dangerous. Spinning. Oh, is it context sensitive whether you actually do the spin or not? Ugh. Like, they could put shooting flame on the Y button, and jumping on the B button, and then you could do both things without having to fiddle around all the time with switching costumes. Ugh. <sighs> it's just a confusingly designed game. So I don't know what these are for, either. Oh, I can't stand on that? Okay. I thought that was my objective, but I guess it wasn't. Ah! Um, can I push it? Like with my dragon form or something? No. Oh, it kills me if I touch it. Uh, okay. What? Oh, it's a wall there. I was trying to go down there, but I'm not sure if I can. I need to be able to, like, ground pound or something, and I haven't got a costume that does that yet. Mm. 
Well, I'm here again. Oh, did I lose my costumes? Is that how it works? When you when you die in a costume, you lose it? Huh. That's super confusing. What's going on here? The, the way that the world is slightly curved is just super confusing, by the way. It's like really disorienting. It's like you're running around on like the inside of a sphere or something. So stuff seems to flatten out as you approach it, but it's it's just so weird. Um, this is the plant one, right? Oh no, this is something new. Oh, it's the ground pounding one. Pounding pig, and if you say so. Looks like the pig can flutter. So I don't really understand why we needed like another one that can flutter and also this one. It's just, you know, busy work switching costumes all the time. Oh, well I'm a pig now, so let's go do some piggy things. Oh, you can't control whether you flutter or not, by the way, it just happens. So that's annoying. Uh, there's something there. I thought there was a pathway, but there's not. Um, that's gonna be another quick time event, right? Hello. Hello. There he go. Is it probably better if they actually showed you what he was look, like, looking at instead of focusing on him all the time? So you have an idea of, you know, what he's facing. There's a corn. So it's not quite a quick time event, it's more like a rhythm minigame, but not a very good one. I guess I got lots more jemmy things. And a statue. Yay. You probably noticed I'm not super impressed with this game. Um. Which is disappointing. I like to be impressed with games. Uh, I I like to praise stuff in the video gaming world that I play and be like, oh, this is cute and fun and good. Unfortunately, this is not those things. Uh, I can get the dragon back. It's probably a good idea. Okay, so if I press that button, the big boulder comes down. Somehow I need to get it to roll all the way over here, but I can't direct where it goes. Is it- is like the ground curving actually like what makes it work? Do I, do I need to run across so that the ground curves in the correct direction or something? Oh god, I think that's exactly what it is. <sighs> that's so weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. I figured it was just a visual effect, but it's it's not. It's, it's actually a, a, a gameplay mechanic. Uh, okay. Okay, whatever you say. Oh, I need the pounding pig. Oh, I need to go somewhere else. Probably over here? Yeah. So you do a different animation when you jump into these things, which is completely different from what you would otherwise do with the same character. Which is just incredibly confusing. 
<sighs> okay, statue, by the way. It's like, the, the hitting the question mark blocks essentially changes your movement entirely. If you happen to be standing near one, all the buttons have a completely different action. Why? <laughs> oh, something's happening. I mean, I guess I'll get all the little jemmies, but I don't really know why. I seem to be able to defeat some folks with them. I guess that's good. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try to jump again. Uh, maybe I can do it over here. Why the really, really long animation every time you switch costumes? What is the point? Ah! Uh. <sighs> yeah, this game... It's, it's... Actually, it's really infuriating. Um... Oh my god. Uh. So I guess the keys are your lives, because, like, when you die, you lose the costume. So, sort of, the keys are your lives. But you keep finding new ones everywhere, and it doesn't really have any fanfare, so it doesn't really seem like you're getting an extra life or anything. Hmm. I don't know. Video games... are weird. Can I break that with my current abilities? I don't seem to be able to. I'll just keep going. Oh, oh, I guess it's another little boss battle. Okay, this thing is doing little whirlwinds, so I guess I'll do little whirlwinds too. Then I'll just uh, run away and... Oh, because uh, I took some damage. So costumes are your health. And when you fall down, you lose one health. And respawn at the checkpoint. By the looks of things. This game is so weird, they should have explained some of this stuff. Okay, that's, that's the end of the level, I know that now. So before we actually go there, let's just have a quick look around. See if we can spot any collectibles hanging out. Well, we can get our spinny wolf form back, so that's one thing. What, why did they map all of the all of the buttons to just jumping? It's just so weird. So like hang, so hanging out behind the the goal that I can get to, uh, maybe. I don't want to risk it. <sighs> oh, what is that? Oh, I see. We put the hard crystal from the first act into this, uh, whatever it is, and then it becomes a moving platform where it's really hard to see because of all the motion blur? Okay. <sighs> Folks, I don't know about this one. Is this like a boss battle we're about to do? Just a bunch of random farmers? Or is it the same guy over and over? Like, they all look the same, but they're in different places, so maybe it's supposed to be the same guy? Or maybe it's not. Oh no, an evil, evil whirlwind thing. Oh no, it's a mystical space typhoon. Oh no. Terrifying. I'm sorry, I, 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 know, I know you guys, like, you, you folks like it when I like things in a video, but... I'm having trouble liking this one. <laughs> Uh, oh, I saw you in the first world. You're the... Presumably the villain. 
don't know if you have a name or anything. Oh, you're gonna possess that guy? Okay, now he's a naughty whirlwind. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we got immediately warped to the boss arena for no apparent reason. And... Uh, there's a big naughty puppy. I don't really know how to damage the big naughty puppy. I'm just gonna start by grabbing some keys. Okay, that did damage. Um, is that all there is to it? Whoa, okay. Uh, there's little platform thingies now. Am I supposed to like ground pound on them or something? No, I picked the wrong direction. that do something? Oh, okay, yeah, it does. Cool. Like, in a, in a normal platform, where, like, all these actions would just be on different buttons, and then you'd have a lot more control over what you were doing and not waste time switching. Wait, is that it? That's the whole boss? Oh, I figured he'd go through like the two phases three times instead of me just hitting him three times. Alright. <laughs> uh, we rescued a farmer. Welcome, farmer. Do, do we know this fellow? Um... Uh, okay. What? <laughs> we did a little dance. For some reason. Super corn. I mean, there's only a little bit of it. You probably want to fix the rest of your garden. So was that the end of level one, or...? Yeah, I guess so. Fighting styles one, not two, three? Uh, I, I don't know what that means. But, alright. Uh, continue? I guess? Okay, I guess we have to go back into some- oh! Oh, that's the boss, right. Uh, let's go back into the first one, see if we can find some more statues. This game's not making a good impression on me. Um, I'm just thoroughly underwhelmed. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, 
like if you want like a really like polished and unique 3D platformer that isn't a Mario game, New Super Lucky's Tale. I was gonna play this again. Can I skip it? Hold down B to skip. All right. Um. Okay, so I got some of the statues. Let's look for some more. I can ground pound now, so maybe I can find more stuff. Also, oh, that's the same farmer. There he is at the beginning. I don't know why he's so so big. Cause like at the end of the level, at the end of the stage, like when we did the boss, he was the same height. As, as we are, like he wasn't gigantic. So, <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, let's just hop up here. I still don't have a way to climb that spider web. I might need to get that from level 2 or something? I don't know. I suppose I should open the door. Uh... Oh, the trophy we already got is showing up as a silhouette. Yeah, that makes sense. That's how video games often work. It's not really sure why we want to grab these little jemmies. Something to do with the little, like, bird friends, but I don't know what they do or how that helps us. By the way, I can't remember if this is the way I was expecting the camera to move or not. It, it might be correct, it might not. I keep doing it wrong, but I, I might just be, like, thinking wrong or something. <laughs> uh, no, I want to go the other way. I think we can get over there, maybe. No, no, no chance. Uh, dang it. Well, uh, there goes that costume, for the moment anyway. Uh, so we can't really try again, um, that's a bit of a design flaw. Can we go up here? Yeah, but we can't go any higher. Yeah, I've seen this already. Alright. Okay, if I had Fluttering still, I could get across to there without any trouble. Can I get Fluttering back? I think the Flutters were just over here, weren't they? Oh, let's just do everything again. Can I skip this? No! <sighs> they, they, they... They've played a Mario game, right? The, the devs? Because, like, they're trying to do sort of the same kind of, you know, lots of, like, open worldy collectibles, you have to get a certain quota thing, but it's, it's, also they're not. It's not working. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, we have the flutter jump again, so let's go get that statue. We can also go over here. Uh... Is it R? Yeah, okay. Oh, we got this one already. Okay, cool. I kind of wish there was some reward for going to a thing you already got. It doesn't seem to be. I mean, like, in Odyssey, it's like, was it 10 coins? 5 coins? It's, it's barely meaningful at all, but it's something. I should really show the L and R buttons on the costumes that they'll give you if you press them. Like in Sonic Heroes. Uh, cause that was much clearer to understand. Okay, there we go. Full steam ahead, apparently. The way it, the way like stuff moves as you go near it is so disorienting. Is it supposed to be like that? It's very weird. Oh, that's an edge. 
Uh, I think I didn't go over here after getting fluttering. I might be able to use it to get more stuff in this area. Yep. Just about. Got another statue. Oh, I can't get back in the mirror. Gotta just drop down. Alright. I suppose that doesn't matter too much. How do I get over there? A lot of jump wasn't enough. Might be some other way to get over there that I don't know about yet. I assume there's a costume that can spin these things because I've seen a couple of them and I can't do anything with them, so... The uh, wolf tornado or whatever doesn't work. Wow, the view for the mirror just looks real bad. It's just, that's not working well at all. Ugh. <sighs> okay. I thought there might be something underneath there, but there's not. Why would there be a collectible in a place that looks like it might have collectibles? What am I thinking? I guess we can do the quick time event again. I don't know if I care though. Let's just see what full steam ahead does by finishing the level. Oh, we got a rainbow gem. Is that, is that good? I don't know what it does. Okay, um, cool. This is a game. Um, oh, he's activating the train for me? Yeah. Where are we? That didn't look like the place we were in before. Are we in a special area that's the train yard, or did it... Um... Uh, what? Oh, there's World 1. There it is. And we're on the train. Okay. Uh, g goodbye level one, I, I guess. Uh, that unlocked level four? And six? Call me confused. There must be a way to get your abilities in the overworld, because, like, that's a thing you're supposed to be able to ground pound, obviously. Uh... Oh, if you stand near them for a little while, they hatch. Okay. Go and feed some drops to the... Yeah. I, 
I can do that. I just don't know what that's going to do. Does eating the drops do something to them? Like, do they get leveled up and become stronger or something? That number that, that it was, it was, the, the counter thing here went up, but then it went back down. I don't know why. It's very confusing. Oh, hello. What's happening? Okay, if I stand near this thing, then they get into it and spin it around. Am I trying to get to 30? It says subjective out of 30, so... Okay. I have no idea what this is supposed to do. Okay, I guess I'm gonna build a tower as we go by getting more sections. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to achieve, though. Maybe they have more energy if I feed them more drops or something? I... Okay, well, I got another section of the tower. I just don't know what the point of that is. Oh, I can pick them up. Okay, so it is a chow garden. Just without any instructions or controls. Oh. Uh. So that, that platform is just for looking at the tower, I guess. Um, I can stand inside a little bit and jump on this little thing here. Doesn't even do anything though. I guess it looks kind of cool. Don't know what I'm achieving though. <sighs> I'm confused. But it's supposed to like stand here and like idle game it basically because they keep like ratcheting it up very slowly. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, will the game let me look at level 4, or is it like, you get the first level and that's it kind of demo? Well, uh, it seems like I can go this way. Let's have a look. Uh, I should probably wrap up soon, but we'll have a quick peek and then we'll see. We'll see if it's more interesting than the first chapter, which was not. Hmm. <sighs> Loading times aren't great either. The boy who will be one with the wind. Okay, so it's that guy with the goggles? Okay. Okay. So we need to become like a floaty sheep? Uh, I can get behind that. Let's do this. Okay, that's pretty cute. Okay, so that gives you a bit of a hover, kind of like the flutter jump, but it's slower, but you can ride gusts of wind. So that's kind of neat. Is that, is that a squirrel? <gasps> a squirrel. Aero acrobat. Lock onto enemies and balloons while in midair. Take aim and press B with a fearsome kick. Oh, it gives me a sonic homing attack. 
That's kind of silly. I guess it works in Sonic Adventure. Does that thing hurt? That thing does hurt. Okay, I wasn't sure. Ow. Eh, lost all my costumes. I need to be Sonic the Hedgehog again. There we go. Yeah, it's exactly homing attack. It's, it, that's just what it is. It's the same thing. I think if I hit all the balloons, something special would happen, but it doesn't look like it did. That thing hurts, right? Probably, I'm guessing. Doesn't really look dangerous, though. Oh, hello. I guess we're inside now? Okay, we're past an hour of recording, so I think I should start wrapping up. Um, I like some of the ideas in this game. Actually, I like most of the ideas in this game. I just am very unimpressed with the execution. <laughs> uh, the controls are bad. Um, it should not be using the, the same, like, it shouldn't have all the buttons mapped to all the actions. It should be, you know, you have a jump button, you have, like, an attack button or something like that. Uh, so that you don't need to switch costumes every three seconds. As a stopgap, they could make it that switching costumes is much faster, uh, because, you know, it, it freezes the game for a moment, and it's really annoying, and if you switch the wrong costume, you've got to do it twice in a row, which is obnoxious. Um, but really, they should just make it that you don't have your abilities tied to these costumes. Um... Like, to compare with a game which kind of does a similar thing, Mario Odyssey. Uh, you know, you, you see critters out, out in the world, you can capture them and take their abilities. Like, these sheep people that are wandering around. Um, in Odyssey, capturing is much, much faster than changing costumes in this game. And Mario has a whole lot of abilities on his own. Like, you don't spend that much time in a capture form because the base movement is really good. Whereas here, you, you just need to have a costume on all the time because... Your base form can't really do anything. Uh, uh, I could also compare with a game like A Hat in Time, uh, which again, like you switch hats around and they have different cool abilities and it, they're good, they're worth doing. Um, but you don't really need to have a hat active to use your basic platforming abilities. The hat kid also can do other things. There's like a button, which is the use my hat abilities button. And if you're not pressing that, you're using all the other buttons to do other things, which are also good. Um, whereas here, you've got one button, which is the jump button and the do everything else in the game button. Um, and you just, eh, you just gotta switch, switch between these costumes, which is slow and annoying and very easy to like pick the wrong one and have to do it twice in a row. Uh, Homing attacking is cool, but, you know, Sonic figured that out years ago. <laughs> also, you don't lose the ability to homing attack if you take damage in Sonic. That's a problem with this game, too. I don't think uh, tying your health to your costumes is a good idea. Um, again, to compare with other games, uh, in a hat in time, you don't ever lose hats once you have them. They just stay in your hat inventory, you can equip them. Um, you can also have more than three. You can have, like, every hat in the game and just switch between them at your leisure. Uh, in Odyssey, if you're in a capture form, uh, taking damage does not kick you out of your capture form. Uh, you stay captured, and that is better. Uh, I can't sheep this, can I? No, I didn't think so. Um, what other games do things like this? Uh, Sonic Heroes? Like, it has the same switching between three different modes thing, but it's faster, it labels which one you'll go to with the button, and, like, 
every character has a range of abilities instead of just one. It, it feels, I know, kind of like in the early Kirby games, maybe, uh, where you had a capture ability, it just mapped the B button to do one thing. Uh, in modern Kirby games, uh, starting with like Superstar on the SNES, so like a lot of Kirby games, uh, what happens is you like get a capture ability and then there's a whole bunch of different button combos you can press to use different aspects of that capture ability. And you don't lose your base ability as well. You still have floating and you still have, um, I mean, so you don't sometimes don't have floating. There's some abilities that replace floating with something else, but that's like a special case. Uh, but you still have, you know, Kirby's normal jump and air puff and stuff like that. You can still do the things Kirby would normally do. Uh, it just replaces inhaling with your, with your, um, copy ability. And if you want inhaling back, you just drop the copy ability. Um, but yeah, it's just this particular approach to doing things just, uh, it seems like they're trying to do things that other games have done before and done better. And I'm a little disappointed. Um, that they didn't, you know, take their priors into account while designing this game. Uh, I still think this is weird, by the way. Like, the fact that jumping under a question block is completely different to jumping in any other context is just so weird. <sighs> Actually, the abilities I have right now are very reminiscent of a Sonic game. Like, uh, in, um, Sonic... In Sonic Heroes, actually. Uh, you have, like, a floating ability in your power formation. Uh, you have... Which you use to use, you know, with propellers and stuff. You have a homing attack in your speed formation, and you have a flight ability in your flight formation. Like, it's the same three things. And Sonic Heroes, which, incidentally, is not a very good Sonic game. Like, there are much better Sonic games. Um... Sonic Heroes had a lot of problems. Um... Like it's not it's still not a good game, but it did it did it did this idea essentially better. Uh, you had you know more abilities, you had more uh, you had you know faster switching. Um, you didn't need to switch unless like you actually needed to use a particular thing. Here you've got to like switch constantly, and when you take damage, you lose your ability, which is so weird. Uh, I also think the game kind of telegraphs when enemies are dangerous quite badly. Like, I'm getting the impression it's when they have, like, wind twirling around them, but... It's not really that clear. I'm guessing some of those were supposed to be fakes and I just hit the real one, but... I, I honestly couldn't tell the difference. I just attacked one of them. What's this thing? Does this plant do anything? Well, I attacked it and it fell down. I don't know if that helps or anything. <sighs> well... Yeah, it looks like you can play a decent amount in the demo. Like, I've played World 1 and this is World 4 or Level 4 or Chapter 4 or whatever they're calling it, so... You know, maybe give it a shot, but... I don't really like it and... I understand other people who didn't really like it either. <laughs> Um, like, the the idea of, you know, switching your costume out and getting different abilities that way, obviously it works. It worked in, it worked in, you know, A Hat in Time, which is a much, much better platformer than this one. Um, and, you know, essentially it works in Kirby, it works in Odyssey, it, it, it works in all these games. Um, but here it's, it's just, it's like they, they didn't try to design a solid platformer as well as having that gimmick. It feels like it's just powered by the gimmick more than anything else. If that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll be getting this game. <laughs> um, I, I kind of sort of like the ideas. Uh, it's just, you know, if I wanted to play a game where I'd switched costumes and got different powers from the different costumes, I'd probably play a hat in time. Um, also, it's real weird that you unlock level 4 and 6 after completing 1. Maybe it's just a demo thing. It's possible it goes 1, 2, 3 normally, but the demo, they wanted to showcase a couple of different levels, something like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, I don't know if I can recommend, you know, buying a hat in time instead of this. I heard that some of the devs are like, 
real gross, and it's an indie game, so you're supporting the devs directly. Um, if you happen to buy it, I mean. Uh, but I also would not really recommend getting this, because I don't think it's very good. <laughs> can, I, can I fall off? Yeah, I can. That do anything? No, it doesn't. Okay. That makes sense. It really oughtn't do anything. Because I'm just in like a uh, level select or whatever. Can't even switch costumes. Okay, but yeah. So... So that's uh, this game. Uh, well, what was it even called? Something Wonderworld? Bal Balan Wonderworld. Yeah, so... Yeah, it, it feels like... Like, I know this is like a triple-A game from Square Enix or whatever. Maybe, not, maybe it's not triple-A, maybe it's like double-A or something. It doesn't feel that polished. But it's not as good as I had in time. And... It should be. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's doing similar things to games like I Had in Time and Odyssey and Sonic Heroes, and it's just not doing them well. And I don't think I can recommend this. <sighs> Which is a shame. I like to like games. Um, I'm still going to hold out for like a second-hand copy of I Had in Time in Switch, so I can play it that way. Or I could just like play the version I bought before I heard about the devs being bad, which is on GOG. I don't buy things from GOG anymore either because CDP are terrible. But anyway. <sighs> yeah, um, so yeah, that's that's Balan uh Wonderworld, a game which is disappointing. Um, I don't know if they're gonna like maybe do some updates to polish parts of the experience, but I'm guessing they probably won't, but may maybe they will. I, I guess maybe keep an eye out and see if they do an update that completely redesigns how the game works. <laughs> um, cause yeah, it's just, it's just kind of fundamental, like, your health is your costumes, and your costumes are what make you do anything interesting instead of just jump, not very high, and the costumes only have one ability that's mapped to the jump button, and so you only have one button, and it just keeps going, there's, there's just a lot of layers of, of design wrong here that other games really got a lot more right. <laughs> so that's disappointing. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this more uh, negative first thoughts compared to some of my others was um, tolerable, I guess. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you later. And I probably won't play more of this. I, m I might like play a little more and see how long the demo is, but Beyond that, I'm not really interested. Um, they also ought to, you know, explain things better. Like, I think there's like a chow garden going on here in the overworld, but I don't really know what feeding these people does. And I, I, I think it should explain, like, what this elevator does and why I'm trying to build a tower and all this stuff. Like, it doesn't clarify any of that. It all seems to have very little to do with the rest of the game. Since I'm, you know, messing around getting statues and stuff in the other parts of the game. <sighs> Again, like, this is a thing that would be better with more buttons. Like, if you had a button that would, you know, drop the gems or whatever, uh, instead of using, you know, the jump button if you were standing in a field of flowers. Which is just so weird. Uh, I wasn't allowed to not drop there, like it froze me in place, so I had to press the drop button. <sighs> actually, having a thing on screen telling you what your button will currently do might actually help with the weird context sensitivity a bit. Because like, you walk over here, there's no indication of what pressing, pressing a face button will do, and the fact that, you know, it won't make you jump. Um, but there could be, it could easily just tell you, and then you wouldn't have that problem. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I was ending the video, but then I kept talking. Uh, I know I do that a lot, so uh, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I guess I'll just put these guys in the spinner a little bit longer, because it's pretty close to 210. Get in there. I don't really understand what makes them get in the spinner and what doesn't. Seems like I just have to stand near it and wait for them to do their thing. <sighs> anyway.
Anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess I just, I just want to say what this does, just in case it makes the tower suddenly interesting, but I've already put a lot of, like, weird grinding into this. Oh, those things are Tim Tram Trampolines? Oh, okay. C can I use them? Like, I don't know, if I jump off of here or onto it or something? Doesn't look like it. Uh, well, I have no idea then. I guess I'm just sort of building them a playground, but I can't really interact with them or it very much, so... I guess I can pick them up like this. Come on, let's go. Get in there. Do some work. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the video now. Like I said I would, like, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Thank you for watching. 